Hello and welcome back to a new video. Had a little bit of feedback uh, regarding the voiceovers and the roleplay, so I thought I would continue. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. So here we have my little industrial estate. Uh, what we are doing is we're just bringing some new units, uh, some new vehicles, sorry, to the units. Uh, this unit number two is my recovery um, slash storage sort for my trucks on to the volvo we have just purchased a volvo from a truck dealership this is an 8x4 i believe is the configuration we're off to get this vehicle transformed into a recovery vehicle slash flatbed sort of type thing and into the workshop we go let's see how it turned out oh she's a beauty she is a beauty. We've had the cab height reduced. Um, that was a big job, but they've got that sorted for us. And then we've got the transport swap body put onto the rear uh, with a few little additional extras with the light bars and beacons. Back at the industrial estate now, we are just going to park this one up for the night as we don't have any uh, jobs currently for these. As this is a fresh company, we are going to be starting a few adverts and whatnot. You know how it goes. Right, all parked up. Ready, uh, let's just have a little beacon show while we're here. May as well, you know how to do. I was going to say, I don't know which I like more, but definitely going to go with the Volvo in this one. Just going to be shutting up the unit now uh, for the evening. We are going to pop back home. Uh, catch a little bit of sleep happy does it there we go right over to the land rover the trusty trusty land rover if you know you know this is gonna get us home in one piece uh, the caravan is the site security we've got a on-site 24 7 security uh, with hydraulic bollards and a closing barrier just for that little bit of extra security. I do need to get in touch with the council. There is a big bump there. And you'll see in one of the other clips that the truck nearly goes flying. Right, on to the next day. We wake up. And we go to work. This is a very new development. Still in development. I am in control over the uh, project. I'm going to be building a nice little residential area for me and a family friend, which is the neighbour in this case. Not too sure on the plans as of yet, but we do want to make it look pretty cool and very posh. To my left, uh, just above, you can't see in this clip, but we have... Oh, there you go, actually, yes we can. It is a bus stop uh, slash bus parking. On the right, we have a port... Uh, we will be covering some work at the port for the, well, the company that runs it. Right, just coming into the yard now. Had some issues this morning, couldn't get the uh, bollards down. But hey-ho, they're down now. So today we have got, uh, we had a late call coming last night um, regarding some work possibly for today. Um, and we will get right into it. Just parking up right outside the front of the unit as we are going to be taking our Arctic unit, but we do not need the trailer. This is because we will be using the client's trailer um, as their trailer is adapted for the work, uh, what needs to be completed. We've gone for a little bit of an all grey themed here. Um, this will just be for these trucks, the sort of recovery and uh, this unit. I will be looking at purchasing another unit. I think I might get a 6x2. This will just be a little truck expansion uh, to the fleet when we, when we look at doing it. This will be to basically run heavier goods uh, with the 6x2 rather than the 4x2, which this is. And this is the uh, bump that I was on about. We'll uh, we'll get that one sorted. Uh, we'll be on to the council. On the left, as you've seen, just a little bit better uh, view of the port. The main contract for us there is we've been asked to do some port shunting around 
uh, essentially just putting containers on the trailers and off. So here, this is the client's trailer. The client has hired this trailer for this job. Uh, this job entails a recovery of a bus which is going up for sale. So let's head off to the bus station. Right outside, I did attempt to go up the hill but it didn't work out very well. So we are going to have to do a roadside collection. Well, essentially block the road. Uh, but luckily in our case the road isn't busy so we can get straight to it. Here's the bus, the grey bus to go with the grey units. <laughs> No, uh, this one is, uh, I believe, an old, an old Airbus, sorry, out of their fleet, which has got a lot of mileage on, and they are parting ways with it, as it is causing them some problems. So they have called in Squirty Transport, and we have got the job. Right, the bus is securely on. Let's get some straps on just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Not that it will, but just in case. Right, we're ready to go. Let's go, go, go. I must say, this unit is impeccable. It looks absolutely beautiful. Just get a few angles while we're, uh, while we're heading towards the dealership. Yes, this is the one. This is the dealership we picked our Volvo truck up before it got transformed. From what I can gather, it is mainly a truck dealership specialising in units only. Uh, but they do do rigids and the odd bus when it comes in. I was speaking to the manager of the dealership earlier and he said that they do not like buses. But they will take them in as a part exchange or a sale. In this case, they have asked me to run it round to the rear. Um, they've got a little storage shed as it's not going to go straight onto uh, the forecourt for sale. This will be checked over by their in house mechanics, which they do have, uh, and then essentially any paint or refurbishment needed to the bodywork uh, or alloys will be completed in here. This job was more of a relationship builder, so we didn't exactly charge a lot for it, but it's uh it's okay right just reversing up ready to go out and this trailer obviously isn't ours so we are going to have to drop it back this will go back um mm -hmm. off lease as it was on lease previously completed by the company we did the work for uh, we did ask where they wanted us to park the trailer, so we are just parking it out of the way as they will sort it later on. Job done. Job complete. Let's go home. Back to the unit. I love this site. I love the site of the unit and the Land Rover. Because nine times out of ten, it means home time. And we are parked up for the night, guys. So, um, these are the grain sheds. British grain sheds, I think they're called, if you would like them. Uh, I am on console, so I can't put the mods down in the description as a PC player would. But I'm on it. I am on it. It's home time. Right, let's go home. Right, on the way home, let's have a little chat. So if you're from TikTok, thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much for joining my YouTube channel. Anyone new, uh, welcome, welcome. And thank you for watching if you've made it to this far. If you wouldn't mind dropping a subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. So, so much. Just before we continue talking... Shutting up for the evening. Right, now that that's all nice and secure. So nobody can get in. We've got the night security in the uh, caravan. Right, as we are leaving, I'm just going to go around the right side of our units. Uh, this is another entrance. But the only issue with this entrance is it's not really accessible for units or big vehicles, as you can see. Pretty much just for cars and vans. 
Right, so on the way home, let's chat some more. I'm going to be looking for some more people to join the servers if you'd like. Uh, currently, I'm on Xbox. I am going to be waiting until I get PC before I do multiplayers uh, and just build up the YouTube channel a little bit. But yeah, if you enjoy it, please drop a comment, uh, drop your gamer tags and stuff, and we'll um, we'll play. My gamer tag is Squirty on Xbox, and I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube, obviously. <laughs> New day. We're back at the unit. Get some lights on in here. It's very, very dark. Uh, let's open up the shutters. And today we've got another job for the unit. This is another job for another client. Uh, so we're not going to be using our trailer again. But that is good for us because we don't have the wear on the trailer. So we've got an absolutely great relationship with our dealership. Um, and they will pretty much help us out with anything. Definitely needs to get that bump sorted. Uh, on the council for that, we'll get the office onto that. So back to it, the dealership, they've basically asked us, can we get them two trailers they have purchased from the wholesaler? This will be um, for a client that they source vehicles mainly for. But in this case, the client has asked for two brand new chrome flatbeds. Now as a dealership, when somebody wants something, you find it for them. You want to get that commission. Right, I'm loading these up myself. I'm not forklift qualified, so um, I do apologise. Here, I did make a tiny mistake, scratched it slightly on the bottom, but hey-ho, we will uh, get that sorted by the garage. And I'm just finding the correct ratio, sort of, to pick it up. So, right in the middle. I forget the, um, the correct term. It's like the balance or something? The mid-balance? I don't know. Either way, let's get this on the trailer. We are doing two trailers in one trip as it saves on a lot of fuel and we're on the other trailer. They are both brand new trailers ready for the showroom. Well, the client, but the showroom in this case. Just making sure they're on with no overhang either side. There is going to be a little bit of rear overhang, but we're going to get that sorted with pushing it as far forward as we can. This is essentially so we don't have to have any rear markers uh, to say it's over, over length, sorry. Just being very careful where I'm pushing the forks on the rear of the trailer and double checking I'm not hitting the front of the trailer here. Obviously do not want to cause any unnecessary damage even though it could be rectified pretty easy. Right, that will do. It is close enough for us to not need any markers. Well, any additional markers, sorry. Right, let's get some straps on. Uh, we do not want to get stopped by the DVSA and find. So security is top, top priority. Off to the dealership we go. A uh, nice little journey just around the corner. It's a little bit of a um, smaller map this. It's called European Countryside. It's probably one of my favourite small maps. Uh, it is very, very nice. Uh, we're going to reverse into here from the roadside. This is because it will make it a lot easier for us rather than spinning around in the yard, churning up their tarmac. The last thing we want to do is have a bill come through when we aren't exactly getting paid a lot for the job. Easy does it, professional driver, all of that. If you are looking for a driver, or any work you've got, whether that be with your own unit, my unit, or my trailer, whatever. Currently, we've only got a flatbed, uh, sorry, no, a low loader. Uh, just take a shunt here. So, yeah, if you've got any work you'd like us to do, um, send it over and we will get back to you. In we go to their warehouse. As you can see, the bus is gone. I did ask them, they said it is going to South Africa. So that is gone. That is absolutely long gone. Right, that is it for today. If you've made it this far, I appreciate it so, so much. 
uh, especially being a new channel. Thank you.